The Shrouded Ghost is the rarest thing a player can encounter in Sea of Thieves. It's so rare it's considered fake among the community. Yeah, there's a reason they gave this title to the fake encounter in the Shrouded Deep. But aside from its astonishingly low spawn rate, the reason the Shrouded Ghost is so hard to find is because running into a Megalodon in your adventure is incredibly unpredictable. You can go one session running into two or three, and the very next session run into none at all. Megalodon spawns are honestly a complete mystery, and as long as they remain that way, deliberately hunting for the shrouded ghost boils down to sailing around randomly and huffing copious amounts of copium. But what if there was a way to predict exactly where a megalodon would spawn, consistently, over and over again? Would that make hunting for the shrouded ghost a real option for players? Now, a Reddit user by the name Several Turnover claimed that there may be a way to hunt megalodons by going to the shores of gold and then leaving to the coordinate U1. Essentially, what's happening happening is that by leaving the shores of gold and exiting the shrouded water, you're forcing the game to queue up an emergent encounter, and one of those encounters can be a megalodon. And well, I was intrigued. And not only that, fellow content creator John Bardcore was also interested too. And so, setting sail for the shores of gold, Bardcore and I began our research into megalodon farming. In today's Tales of Getting Booty. Today, this is, is the day. <laughs> today is the day, Topsy. Subscribe. Now, our first test would be more of a control test. Several turnover claimed that the emergent encounter would take place at U1 after leaving the shroud. And so we'd simply enter the shroud to the shores of gold and then exit to U1 and... Looks like we didn't spawn one. Are we full into uh, U1 now? Oh yeah, we're past you one. Okay. As expected, nothing happened. But the Reddit user Several Turnover had actually claimed that in order for a Megalodon to be a guaranteed spawn, we've got to spend one hour on the shores of gold before leaving. And so, on our next attempt, we figured we'd clear the tool tail to pass the time, collect the Gold Hoarder's skull, and then sail back to the coordinates U1. And as we exited the shroud, playing the Summon the Megalodon shanty, well... Oh! <gasps> Yo! We got something. Well, we spawned a Meg. Okay. Meg, Meg, Meg. Yeah, Megalodon spawned, which was honestly huge. But with only one spawn, this was nothing more than chance or coincidence. If we was going to actually prove there was any merit to this method, we'd need to summon the Megalodon multiple times in the same coordinate. You won. John, let's let me go inside its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was cool. And so, John and I returned to the Shores of Gold once more, defeated the Gold Hoarder, and collected another copy of his skull, before heading back to the coordinates U1, in anticipation for our next emergent encounter. It did give me the, um... Oh, it spawned a skelly ship this time. But it does do an emergent encounter it whenever does. you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was as soon as the Shroud Breaker won. So it seems that by waiting or completing the tool tail at the Shores of Gold, an emergent encounter is queued onto the crew. And the first opportunity the game has at triggering said encounter, it will. The coordinates U1 seem to fulfill a lot of the conditions needed to spawn a queued emergent encounter too, due to the vast open water. But with another Gold Hoarder defeated, we sailed back to U1. And well, I, I want to see if, the, if we get, the, if we get, uh, so we should get something now. John, was it just oh. luck? <laughs> Sad time. Was it just luck that we got a Megalodon to spawn? I don't want to hear that. Yeah, after three attempts, all with different results, I felt defeated. We were no closer to finding out the mystery of the Megalodon and how to summon one, and even further away from the shrouded ghost. But John and I weren't about to give up. The following week, John Bardcore and I met up once again on his stream in search of the rarest Megalodon, and more importantly, the key to summoning an emergent encounter. Once again, we returned to the Shores of Gold, defeated the Gold Hoarder, and sailed to the coordinates U1. And while we did this, John was invoking some ancient magic. We must, we must all praise the Shrouded Ghost. And once again... Oh, I hear it. I hear something. Hey, let's go! Hey, we summon a Megalodon! Let's go! We got something here, John. This is a mm -hmm, farming mm -hmm. method. That's... 
There's something here. We'd successfully summoned a megalodon in the coordinates U1. Yay. There was definitely something to this method. Now, we just needed to figure out if it was due to the tool tail being cleared, if it was time related, or if it only happens on the first attempt per session. And so we defeated the gold hoarder again and sailed back to U1. But this time... <laughs> Ring. Anything? No. Because it spawned, it spawned literally right when that shroud went down. Yeah. Nothing. This meant it wasn't tied to defeating the gold hoarder and clearing the tool tail. Our next element to test would be the session. So far, megalodons had spawned only after we had cleared a tool tail and sailed to U1, and only on our first attempt. Following attempts had led to a skeleton ship spawn and nothing at all. And so we loaded into a new server as a new session, returned to the shores of gold, defeated the gold hoarder and set sail to U1. And confusingly, no spawn at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were losing hope, and we returned to the shores once more and waited a full hour fishing. This had to work this time. The only element we hadn't tested was time, and after a full hour fishing, we sailed back to U1. It's a mystery. <laughs> oh, Toxie. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> what causes it to work? Nothing again. The mystery of the Megalodon had eluded both John Bardcore and myself, and feeling beaten and defeated, I said goodnight to my friend and left. But I wanted to try one last thing. The following morning, I sat at the Shores of Gold for one full hour, and this will only work if it's the first time you've visited the Shores of Gold in a session. My theory is that the emergent encounter is tied to leaving the Shroud and the Shroud Breaker on the ship being removed. For instance, when you complete the Tall Tale and leave the Shroud, the Shroud Breaker removes itself from the ship. This effect can also be replicated by cancelling the Tall Tale, as it will remain on your ship until you leave the Shroud. This is to stop players getting stuck here. Anyway, with an hour pass, I sailed to U1, and as the Shroud Breaker removed itself from my ship, I'd summoned a Megalodon once more. There clearly was something to this, but it felt random, it was so hard to tell. However, I was feeling confident, and I wanted to prove to everyone that I could predict a Megalodon spawn. And to do that, I was going to keg a Megalodon, on purpose. And so I grabbed an Athena keg from the new Ancient Black Powder Voyage, and stored it on my ship as I returned to the Shores of Gold. One hour had passed, and it was time to destroy the big shark as I made my way to U1. This was for John Bardcore, an homage to the coolest thing he had done, for several turnover and their amazing research, and for Merrick, of course. We may never get a shrouded ghost, but we could at least predict a megalodon spawn and technically farm it. Over and over again, I waited at the shores of gold for one hour each, sailing to U1 and summoning megalodons. The method works, it's just a little finicky sometimes, but the shrouded ghost still eludes me. And here I was thinking, that now that I'm a Sea of Thieves partner, I was guaranteed to get one. Oh well. And if you'd like to see more pirate science, then have a look at this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.